Okay, this is David Brooke from AIPT. We've got ourselves an American Comics Characters Revolt Tech Amazing Yamaguchi number two Spider Man action figure. This was pre ordered, so I think it's pretty new. You're not going to be seeing it in stores uh, right away, but probably soon. Uh, this is the number two. The number one is the Deadpool, which is crazy articulate. Uh, you can bend it in so many different ways. So let's look at this. We've got pretty cool box. It's similar to the Deadpool box in that it conveys like a comic book style with these panels. Uh, shows you all the eyes you can use uh, for the figure and also some pretty cool poses supposedly he can get into. Some pretty cool bende dots on the side here with the figure and some interesting text. And then, ooh, that's... Look at that, he's like breaking his leg there. And then you've got Jay Jamison on the side here. It looks like it might be Humberto Ramos's art on this panel. Anyway, let's open this guy, huh? All right, similar to the Deadpool action figure, there is a backdrop with the character himself, which is pretty sweet. Nice coloring. Blank background. This tape might be tricky. Oh, tape's not a problem. All right. It's right here. All right. Looks like he comes with a stand, but who cares about that? Right, looks like he's got this nice. Oops, I'm totally messing it up. Cover so things don't get lost. All right. See what we got here. We've got plenty of hands. We've got the thwip hand, two thwip hands for each hand, left and right. We've got two fists. Looks like a hand to grab some webs. So here's all the hands. Wow, the detail is actually pretty good. You can see there's like etching into the the hands so that there's like te some texture to it which is pretty nice. Oh, and it looks like there's a little hole to stick a web. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's put these down. The webs are pretty nice too. Wow. There's some nice detail. And then there's the end to stick into the hand. Uh, there's, so there's one long straight web. There's two long straight webs. Ah, so we can shoot webs from both hands. Perfect. And we've got another windy web here. Ooh, this is pretty nice. With a loop. Alright, so then we've got two short webs. Almost like batons, the way it's got a little etch, a little sticky part so they can stick into the hands. So inserting the uh, webs into the thwip hand is pretty easy, and they're very stable actually, surprisingly so. Uh, it, it goes in pretty deep into the hand here, and you just stick it right in. And it goes in pretty deep, very deep. So it's, it's not moving, which is pretty cool because you might be going crazy with your poses. All right, and then there's the eyes which just like the Deadpool has its own little packaging so they can't get lost easily. Got like the angry, the confused, and then the thought-provoking. Oh god, I'm already losing them. So just like the Deadpool, um, he's got these pl <laughs> this like plastic skirt <laughs> and diaper uh, protecting the joints again, which is pretty nice. To I mean, it, the worst thing is when you order a action figure and uh, the paint is damaged from shipping. So I'm pulling this apart only because I've done it once with Deadpool. When I originally got it, I thought something was wrong. As you can see, he's got these extra p pieces to go into each other to like allow him to bend like crazy, but for you not to see the uh, the openings. So there's like this ball, and then you can stick it 
into here. So without <laughs> without his metal, he doesn't look very good, does he? Oh, got the head plastic. <laughs> so just like the Deadpool again, there's this extra joint uh, for his neck so that when you bend his head, he still has like coverage over the, the joint area. So just like. So what we have here is a toy that can bend like crazy. Uh, so he's got the knee joint that not only can spin this way, but can go this way. It's got this ball that actually that actually can go this way, but also any other direction. We've got the ankle which can bend straight back and forth, but also a complete turn. And then there's also this, which uh, is a uh, calf can turn completely. Can't bend this way though. And then we've got a joint from his thigh, well, almost to the end of his thigh, to uh, the top here. They can go anyway this way. And there's this, which can also bend this way. And then we've, we're working our way up the body here. <laughs> um, which he can turn this way. Obviously this piece can get a little messed up. But you can turn it with him. I think that's the whole point of it. And then there's also, there's a joint back here. Where he can bend this way, but then also up here. So he can really crunch. And then we've got the neck. Which is actually pretty cool. It's got it's got some texture to it. Or not texture, but like a bend to it. As if it's flesh. It's not straight. It is rather long. And much like Deadpool... It can look a little funny in certain positions, especially if he puts his head down. It looks rather long. But, probably not going to have him in a position like that anyway. But yeah, the neck can bend this way. He can bend a little this way, not a lot. The head itself can actually bend a lot, so it's not like you don't need to have this neck be mo moving. And then he can look up. And then not really look down much, but I guess that's what the neck's for. And then we've got the arms. The, these joints are pretty sweet. The uh, can move this way, but also turn. And then this joint in here can turn as well. And then the elbow can also turn. Or bend, I should say. But also turn. And then there's the wrist, and this is actually a different hand completely from the others. We've got the thwip hand. This is just an open hand, so he can be climbing, I'm assuming. And, uh, yeah, let's put him in a cool position. Super bendy Spider-Man. Well, as you can see, the knees are, it's just a ball. And one of the cool things about Deadpool's figure is that he's got these knee pads that actually hide the ball a little bit. So it's not as obvious. But it looks like they tried to do that a little bit with the way the leg connects to the to the thigh here. Because if you have it in just the right way, it actually connects like a, like a puzzle piece. Of course, you're not going to always want it that way because he's going to need to be bending that knee so he can do crazy moves. And in which case, you can see that ball pretty good. So it comes with a stand, which is pretty sweet, because not every toy does. And it is super easy to put together. And boom. He's posed. It's actually a pretty nice little perk. Even though you can get a stand similar for seven bucks, but this one, it's a little different, it feels sturdy. The head can be taken apart like so, and it, the, 
toy actually comes with a tool, a little like spike, so you can push out the eyes and not damage them by pulling the eye out. You can actually just push it out, which is a nice touch. Oh man, Spider-Man's looking weird. Push it, boom. And then you can stick any old eye you want into Spidey's head. Boom. Looks a little weird if it's just, if it's not matching. But anyway, let's put it on. Overall, I really like this toy. I think there's a, a few drawbacks, like the uh, shoulder and the knee joint being a little obvious. But overall, I am really pumped to be playing with this toy and posing it with other action figures, particularly Deadpool, because they can bend in crazy ways together. And considering the stand comes with it, you can pretty much pose him any way you want. Uh, it's going to run you $75, which is the same as Deadpool. Uh, right now, Venom is running at $85, but that's not for a bit. Obviously, you're going to get this toy if you love action figures that can bend like crazy. I don't think there's anything else like this in any Spider-Man form, anyway, that can bend this much. So you're going to have a lot of fun putting it into positions and uh, posing it. Um, that said, there are a little, a few little issues like the knee joint that's so obviously a ball. And also the uh, shoulder joint here, which is quite open in certain positions. Obviously you can pose it so that it's sort of hidden, but it can get a little ridiculous at times where it's super obvious. Especially when the shoulder's down like this. It's almost like it's disconnected. But that's not really a deal breaker. It's still a very cool figure. The face is also a little small for a Spider-Man figure. It's, it's almost like a mask as well when you look at it from the side or the back. So yeah, overall, I really like this toy. I like the detail. The sculpt is nice. Paint job is really nice. He's got this nice blue shimmer. The blue has, it's very dark but and shiny, but it looks, it looks expensive. Um, and then there's nice texture in all the, uh, the lines in his, uh, in his costume. So it's not just paint there. It's actually etched in, which is really nice. Oh, and there's also a um, <clears throat> spot to put uh, any uh, stands. There's no spots on the feet, though I don't think you're going to be posing Spider-Man on his feet very much, <laughs> considering the character. But overall, this is a pretty cool toy. And it comes with plenty of hands uh, and uh, webs to add to the whole scene. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope to do more of these unboxing videos as new toys come out this year. So check back here and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks!